Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're gonna do a quick overview of Zoho Bookings. This app will create one or more online calendars for you, so you can share them with your leads or contacts, and they will be able to schedule appointments with you. All right, let's get started. Here we are in the calendar page, where you will see all your upcoming appointments. There are several elements that allow you to filter what you see. Right now we're using the list view, but you can switch to the calendar view. Also, you can choose the appointments you see based on this filter. Right now we're seeing the month appointments, but you can also select week and day. Up here is the calendar info and we can use it to switch between dates. Below we have info about the appointments, like these money indicators that are here because you can charge for your appointments from this app and process payments. And finally, we can see the appointments and filter them one more time with these tools. On the top, we can find the navigation bar that you can use to move to other modules, like my profile, where you can edit a lot of things about yourself, like working hours, type of consultations you do, and more. And on the right, you will find the bookings page, as well as the settings and the notifications. Now, let me show you what the client will see when booking an appointment. In this case, I'm opening my business booking URL, where the client can choose the type of call, but you also have the option to create one page for each call type, so the client can not change it. In my case, I only have two call types, but you can have as many as you want. Once the client finds a time that works with him, he clicks on book now and completes the fields. Once he clicks on schedule appointment, you and the client will get an email notification with all the information. Also, you will see the appointment on your list. Another cool feature of Zoho Booking is that it integrates with Zoho CRM, so the contact will be added to Zoho CRM automatically and a phone call will be added as a task. All right, let's go back to the admin page and I'm gonna close this and go back to the calendar. So to see more information about an appointment, just click on it. Here you will be able to see the phone number, email, video call link, and payments if any. Also, you will be able to reschedule or cancel an appointment from your end. And in this case, this appointment already passed, so you can mark it as completed or no show. Let me show you another appointment. As you can see, this is an upcoming appointment. So if I need to reschedule, I can click on reschedule and then complete all the fields. All right, let's close this and go back to the month view. And if you want to schedule an appointment manually, you can use this plus button and then complete all the fields. When selecting the customer, you can create a new one or select it from the list. The contacts sync automatically between Soho CRM and bookings if you're using the integration. With this button, you can also add new appointments, but you can have a lot of other options as well, like blocking time if you're not able to take appointments during a period of time, or add special working hours, for example, if you work on a weekend, or even add new workspaces, new consultants, new consultations, and more. So let's say we would like to add a new consultation. In this case, it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So let's select the workspace and add a name. We're gonna change the buffer time to one hour. So we have plenty of time between meetings and we're gonna assign it to me. Now let's click on save. And that's it, the new consultation has been added. All right, now we are in the settings and this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. In general, you can change your business information, like basic info, working hours, and more. Then we have workspaces that you can use to identify different groups of people. In this case, I only have sales, but you could have, for example, support. And in the sales workspace, we have all these different settings, like what consultations are linked to this workspace, notifications, and some settings about the booking page. Then we have consultations, where you can change any settings about each consultation type. So in this case, we have three, and you can change the settings individually. For example, change the reference color or duration. Then we have consultants, where you can find a list of employees or consultants that you have on Soho Bookings. And you can also customize the settings for each one here. For example, basic information as well as working hours. And then we have the integration section where you can find all different video call apps that integrate with Zoho Bookings. And in this case, I have a Zoho meeting enabled. Then we have the payment getaways that you can use to accept payments through Zoho Bookings. And finally, we have calendars that allow you to sync Zoho Bookings with your calendar. This is a really cool feature because Zoho Bookings will review the other calendars and see if you have any events. And if you do, it won't schedule any consultations on that time. So this will prevent any double booking. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Bookings is part of the Zoho One suite. So if you would like to try out Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.